This is More Knowledge, More Wealth with your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Gabriel is a certified financial planner and a registered investment advisor at Falcon Wealth Planning. This show does not intend to provide personalized investment advice through this broadcast and does not represent that the services or securities discussed are suitable for any investor. Investors are advised not to rely on any information contained in the broadcast in the process of making a full informed investment decision. More knowledge, more wealth on AM590, The Answer. Now here's your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Good afternoon, this is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner and your host. More knowledge, more wealth. You're on every weekend talking about all important topics of personal finance. My goal is to give you the knowledge you need to increase your wealth. Now to the listener, you can always reach out to myself or any one of our colleagues here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short. Now I'm a principal of Falcon Wealth Planning. We are a fee only financial planning firm. We do manage money as well, but we really specialize in everything that involves the dollar sign, folks. That talks about where you are today, how retirement looks like, talk about taxes, insurance, estate planning, investments, folks, you name it, anything that involves a dollar sign, we can help. And we are offering a free financial assessment. We help people all across the country. Give us a call. We normally used to charge for this, but for you guys, it's absolutely no cost for you. Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to relate this show to your specific situation. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. We'd love to share with you kind of some of the low-hanging fruits that people just aren't aware of. We really can help answer those questions that are out there. It's just this industry, whether it's on the wealth management side or on the tax planning side of it, is so cliche with selling product versus selling brain, which is like what we do at Falcon Wealth Planning. We like to be the most comprehensive wealth managers in the country. And we've been rated by multiple outlets like CityWire is one of the fastest growing in the country, second fastest in California, by Wealth Management Magazine, by the LA Business Journal, by the Registered Investment Advisor Intel, as some of the best firms in the country. We are proud about that. And yet again, for the sixth year in a row, Financial Advisor Magazine as well. And we continue to have 50% growth year over year, which has made us, we officially broke the top 500 of the largest companies uh, for registered investment advisory firms in the country through Financial Advisor Magazine. So we'd like to share with you these things. And with that comes, what could we share with you? And what type of value could we be offering? The answer to that is, taking a look at where you're getting most of your financial advice from. And most people are getting their advice, not from their financial advisor. Why? Because not everybody has a financial advisor. Most people are getting their advice from their tax professional. Their tax professional are giving them the advice of what to do. But the problem is, and no fault of theirs, is that they are uh, preparers. They are historians. These are individuals that look backwards, which doesn't really make sense for your situation. Because a lot of the strategies have to be done by December 31st of last year. But you're doing the taxes this year. How does that make sense? This is why there is no shortage. There's no shortcut. There is no way truly an accountant can do tax planning. They have to be comprehensive and it's difficult for them to do. This is why our industry of tax planning exists. Something as simple as understanding what your current mortgage is. What's the rate? What's the payment? Take a look at your investments. Where do you have it? Are they in retirement accounts, tax deferred? Are they in Roth? Where are you saving based on today's income? What's your future income look like? Well, how does that plan out? Well, depending on if you get rental income, is there mortgages on those? Because then if not, and they get paid off in retirement, now you have higher income. Are you getting Social Security? If so, how much that is? When are you going to take it? When's the best time to take it? How much you have in IRAs or retirement accounts? There's required minimum distributions that are eventually going to hit those. You get what I'm saying? Some simple, I love doing this sometimes, and I don't do it intentionally. I'm not trying to be rude, but some people have come in with a simple question and almost has a lawyer talks. You explain to them 
the 15 to 25 different variables of why I can't simply answer that simple question. Not trying to be rude, I'm telling you, that's just how it works. Because the right answer in tax planning is, it depends. <laughs> and it's true, it truly depends. That's the right answer for you. I don't know the right answer because you could have the same dollar amount, the same goal, but the answer could be different five different times depending on the person's situation. So be clear of your situation and what you should be doing. And I'll give you a quick example. And I wanted to do this. And actually, I'm going to prolong the example of a SEP IRA versus a solo 401k. This is a fantastic example of also what good advice is, but what old advice and how it can change to good advice with the newer options available to you. By the way, folks, if you're just joining us, you're listening to Gabriel Sheehan, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here every week at talking about all important topics of personal finance. Today, I just want to give you an example of how there's old advice and new advice. And even the advice that you were given three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, 10 years seems obvious, but there are still people implementing strategies that they heard back in 2012. Keep in mind, the financial crisis we had was in 2008. It was still fresh in people's mind. Tax laws changed on four separate occasions since then. These are things to be aware of. You have to understand each situation is a little different. You have to understand that your situation might have changed as well. So I'll give you an example of a situation where people were being recommended a SEP IRA for a long time. And a SEP IRA works like this. It's the SEP stands for self-employed. And that made sense for a lot of people back when they were trying to save towards retirement. A normal IRA, you could only save six to $7,000, depending on your age. With a SEP IRA, you can save over $50,000. So what's my point? My point is simple is that back in the day, if you were netting $100,000 and you were, let's just say a sole proprietor, you were able to save 25% of whatever you were netting. So what is 25% of $100,000? 25% is 25,000. You could save $25,000 into that SEP IRA. Simple enough, right? Seems great, sure better than the 6,000 as before. Now you are a max allowed to put over $50,000. You are, and it's actually closer to 60,000 now, but let's just keep it simple, say 50. But you know, if you can only max put 25%, if you're making $200,000 net, well then you put the 50,000 that we just discussed, but in this case, you're only netting 100,000. So you can only put in that 25,000. So this has been a very normal traditional advice that accountants has given to their clients. And that is to open up a SEP IRA because by putting money into the SEP IRA will help reduce their tax burden because they get a write off on both the federal and the state side. Sounds fantastic, right? Now, remember, you can't go running, opening up SEP IRAs. Number one, you have to be self-employed. And number two, you have to see if it makes sense for you to do. And it also sees if you have employees and depending on a few other factors. Let's now discuss a solo 401k. Yet again, I just want to highlight how the laws and the recommendations have changed. And yet I still see people saving into a SEP IRA today. So let us discuss. Now, a solo 401k is very similar to a SEP uh, uh, IRA. They're both a retirement accounts for self-employed people. So that's why it's solo 401k for a sole practitioner, for someone who's just independent on their, on their own running their own business. Could be a department store, or maybe a general merchandise store, or it could be a, a lawyer or whatever it may be. Just a one man shop or woman, excuse me. <laughs> uh, so going into detail, if you net $100,000 with a solo 401k, you are allowed to put, up, put in up to $27,000 as a contribution from the employee. So if you're under the age of 50, that's 20,500. If you are over the age of 50, it is $27,000. So that's what you can put in. Now, I know what you're thinking. You can, only, you can do the same thing with a SEP. It's 25% of compensation. So what's the big difference? The difference is, is in this example, all you have to make is, we'll call it 27,000 for you to save 27,000. Let's use simple math. If you made $30,000 net, well, with a SEP, you can only save 25% of that, which is $7,500. But with a solo 401k, you could save $27,000. Way more than that, 25%. In that example, it's like 
Let me continue that math. Let's say you have $100,000 net and on SEP IRA, remember, you are contributing yet again 25% of what you net, which is 25,000. But with a solo, solo 401k, you can max that $27,000 into the 401k as a contribution from the employee, which is you. The match side is the same as a SEP, which is 25%. So you could put in $25,000 of that 100 plus the 27, you could save $52,000 versus the 25,000 earlier with a, with a SEP IRA. This is a great example of how laws change. So for what case became really popular around 10 years ago. And if you don't know about that, you are missing out on how much you can contribute into the account. This is an unfortunate thing that we see happen often. These are factors that can impact your situation, whether it's through tax savings or saving in the right vehicle. You could even say, well, I don't want to save too much in a retirement account because maybe my tax situation will drop in such a low rate that it's not financially beneficial for me to do it. I'm going to talk in more detail of that when we come back, of additional strategies you could do to help maximize the savings and retirement savings, especially if you're in the catch-up years of your life. If you need help with this, if what I'm sounding sounds like it could help you, if you can relate to this conversation or if you know somebody that can, give us a call. We do this on a daily basis, and this is why we're offering one or two hours, one or two meetings of our time at no cost, folks. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. We can help relate this show to your situation. We can help identify things that you are doing that could have been right 10 years ago, but are flat out incorrect or not as efficient today. Give us a call. We'd be happy to help. We can help people all across the country. We have multiple offices as well. We'll be right back. We're going to take a quick little break, but we look forward to talking to you more after this short period of time. Welcome back, folks. This is Gabriel Shane, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here. And every week, I'm talking about all important topics of personal finance. And today, we are discussing just simple advice that you could be getting from a financial professional. Most of these individuals that you work with and get financial advice from are accountants. And I love accountants. We have accountants here at work at Falcon Wealth Planning. As tax planners, they're necessary. Unfortunately, most of them focus just on tax preparation. And this can hurt you based on old advice that you could be getting because tax planning is much more complex. And I'll give you an example of something as simple as knowing with you if you should be saving into a traditional or a Roth 401k or IRA or SEP. The problem is on a SEP retirement account, you may not easily be able to decide if you could save into a Roth versus traditional. Most SEPs are only offered into a traditional aspect where you could only reduce your tax savings, uh, reduce your tax liability. So by saving in there, you pay less tax because it's a write-on. But there are situations, and I mentioned earlier why a solo, uh, solo 401k makes sense. Now, ideally, you could also open a solo Roth 401k. That'd be great. But now there might be not a place where you can do that. A lot of the places that we're offering it have restrictions where you cannot open one of these up. It's becoming more growingly difficult, especially if you're looking for a low cost option. But what you could do is as you save it to a solo 401k, you can then do a Roth conversion out of that. Because when you save into that solo 401k, it actually reduces your taxes. By taking the money out and moving it into a Roth, it increases your taxes, but equal to where it would have been if you didn't do it anyway. It's a tax neutral strategy that could make sense for you and your situation. And I've seen multiple people that could, in that example I gave previously, that $100,000, I've seen people where if in a uh, SEP IRA, they could save $25,000. If you had a solo 401k, the max you could save is $52,000. Well, what if you only want to save thirty? dollars so that extra 22,000 will save you in a very low bracket, like the 12% bracket. That's not really beneficial to you, is it? Exactly. So what you could do in that specific example is to do a Roth conversion of 22,000, which would make you to the top of that 12% bracket, for example. It may make a lot of sense for you. 
Folks, this is why we offer a free financial assessment, because what we're talking about sounds great, make, could make a lot of sense for you, and could save you tens of thousands of dollars throughout your lifetime, if not hundreds of thousands, in tax savings, not just now, but throughout your lifetime. This is why we recommend talking to a professional. This is why we help people all across the country. And this is why we're offering that free financial assessment. We offer one to two hours, one to two meetings of our time at no cost to you. We recommend you give us a call. This is what we do on a daily basis. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's Falcon, WP.com for short. Be happy to help out and answer these questions that you may have or relate the show to your situation. This is what we do on a daily basis. And we talk, there is a difference with a planner versus a preparer. And as a tax planner, it's important that you understand the difference because really the tax preparer's job is to make sure you pay the least amount of tax possible, legally possible. And so, that doesn't always help long term because what that could be doing is really hurting your long term planning and what your long term tax situation looks like. It may be better to forfeit some, none, or all of your tax deferral depending on your situation. I've seen an attorney over in Northern California that was had some losses that was still saving 27,000 a year at the time I think it was 24,000 in a solo 401k. They were getting zero write off for it and still saving in there. My question and comment to him is why in God's name would you do that? Only to take out the money later and pay taxes on it? I could argue it makes sense to take money out of the solo 401k while it's cheap, arguably tax free to do it. This, yet again, is a great example of why tax planning is necessary. And I see this every day. And I don't want you to make that mistake. I don't want you to have these problems. I don't want you to go through this nonsense because you will find out later the mistakes that you made. They call people great the old men for a reason later on in life, typically after 72 years old. And the reason is, is because they're forced to do these mandatory withdrawals, whether you need the money or not. I don't want you to go through that same mistake. By the way, folks, if you're just joining us, you're listening to Gabriel Shane, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend, talking about all important topics of personal finance. And for some of you that are on the video, hello there. We also do a webinar version of this. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel with More Knowledge, More Wealth through Falcon Wealth Planning as well. So feel free to look it up. And we're also on Spotify and the Apple Store through air, uh, the uh, podcast where you can pull up More Knowledge, More Wealth. So going into more detail and just talking and helping you and preparing you for the distinction between a tax preparer and a tax planner. And my final example truly is looking at something like a C corporation versus an S corporation. And where I've seen a lot of people get this recommendation from their accountant because a C corporation is allowed to pay for the medical expenses for the owners versus an S corp. Technically it can still pay for it, but you have to get taxed on it. And so on the benefit piece of it. So there is distinctions there, but you have to also look at the big picture here. If you're trying to save two to 3000 medical insurance write-off costs through payroll tax, that might not be a big, benefit when you compare the hundreds of thousands of dollars you could potentially lose on the tax side with having a C Corp because as you know, there is double taxation and you have to look at what the comparison of the two, depending on your tax situation. If you're netting 10,000 to a hundred thousand dollars a year, you have to understand what makes more sense. If you're netting over a hundred thousand to $500,000 a year, you have to understand if it's C Corp versus S Corp, or if you're netting over 500,000 or a million dollars a year, you have to see the difference between a C Corp and an S Corp and what makes the most sense for you. And the problem is I just don't see that with most people. I don't see most individuals doing that type of long-term comparison because an S Corp could be great for you today, but maybe not later, depending on what the exit plan is and depending on your tax situation and vice versa. A C Corp could be great for you now or later, depending on your financial situation, whether it's looking to expand the company or looking to 
control the unnecessary taxation that potentially could happen through a double tax with the C-Corp. These are great examples of why there is no substitute, there is no shortcut to knowing what's best for you. And this is why an accountant just can't do it. And this is why our industry, we have a standard of getting to know you. And there's no substitute of shortcutting or shortchanging the proper recommendation for you outside of spending that time with you, getting to know you, seeing what makes sense for you and customizing that approach to you. Because depending on how much you make, depending on if you need funding for your business, depending on uh, the expansion plans that you have, could make sense on how to structure the company. And the problem is not everybody has a skill set. And a lot of our skill set does help aspiring people want to become financially independent. That is our primary focus. And a lot of the people that do that are business owners or people in the tech industry or whatever it is, people with assets and high taxes. This seems to be a core audience for us who appreciates our help. Engineers are some of our best target clients as well for that reason, because they appreciate detailed numbers. And we are offering a free financial assessment to help go through this process with me and my team. We've got a large team here at Falcon Wealth Planning. That's how we're able to help people all across the country. Give us a call. Myself and my colleagues would love to help and identify what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and what's just flat out something you need to change. These are ways that we can help provide that value and answer at no cost. We are offering one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time at no cost, folks. This is the best time to do it, especially since we're in this purgatory state of the market. Not sure what it wants to do, whether it's up or down. People are uncomfortable, rising interest rates, rising inflation. Hope prices seems to have this weird stabilization where if you were looking to sell, you probably should have done three months ago. These are times where with markets being unstable, with also retail numbers are lagging, people are now wondering and having issues about their future. Help us help you with identifying what you should be doing. Because even if it doesn't make a good fit for us right now, doesn't mean number one, it won't be a good fit in the future. And number two, you can spread the good word of the good stuff we've done for you. Give us an opportunity to help. We'd love to do it. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falcon, wp.com for sure. We have been recognized through multiple publications being one of the best, fastest growing, honest firms in the country. And we would love to be able to show that to you by being one of the good guys in this industry, by showing you your situation. There are so many different aspects of financial planning that can financially benefit you. Even something as simple as social security strategies, depending if you have kids, young kids, or just God forbid going through disability, or if you are a surviving widow. I've seen people miss out, including my mother, on thousands, tens of thousands of dollars by not doing it right. And that was back when my father passed away a few years back, or well, over a decade ago. So let us help you. Use our experiences to help you. Folks, that was a fast, fast show. I want to thank you for tuning in with us. Feel free to join us every weekend here at More Knowledge, More Wealth. Our goal is to give you the knowledge you need to increase your wealth. Tune in every weekend. It's our goal is to help you with your situation and to relate this show to your situation. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Have a great week. God bless and appreciate you tuning in.